What up, what up, what up, guys? It's your boy King Joffy Joe 413, back with another one. What's going on guys? It's your boy King Joffy Joe 413. What's going on guys? How you guys been? Me? Chilling, like always. Alright, today, got another review for you guys. A little product, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you ever had a problem where you're hooking up some accessories and you need a switch? Yeah, yeah, we all had that problem. So, you know what I'm saying? My man, uh, my man, my guys over there at uh, Top Notch Riker, sent me over the grill, you know what I'm saying? Got a little switch with it. Made the review. Everyone loved it. And then my man Brandon King hit me up and said, yo, what you doing with that switch? Where'd you put your switch? And I'm like, you know what I'm I tucked it under here under the hood real quick. And he was like, I got something for you. And I'm like, what you got? What you got for me? You know what I'm saying? And he sent me the pitch, the picture of uh, the handlebar switch. You know what I'm saying? Goes right under here, right underneath your handlebars or on top wherever you like to place it. And it hooks up to uh, you hook your accessories up to it you know what i'm saying so if you got any accessories running to your battery this actually will give power to those accessories so you don't have to have nothing just one thing you'll have to have hooked up to your battery you won't have to have you won't have to have a bunch of stuff going here so this kit comes with two wires uh we'll say splitter wires we'll say auxiliary wires two auxiliary wires so you'll run this down to your battery which has an inline fuse, which is always a good thing, so you don't burn up one of your fuses in your bike. You run it up to your bars, and you're gonna hook this side. Simple, fast connect, uh, waterproof. If you look real close here, we got a seal on there, a nice rubber seal. You plug that into the female side, you plug the male into the female, and then you screw it on there tight. And obviously the tighter you screw it, it's gonna pull down on the seal, and that's gonna make a watertight seal. So that, that, that's, that's a plus, you know what I'm saying? You always want to have water tight when you're doing stuff like this. Um, some of you may want to put uh, electrical grease inside here just for extra precaution. If you live in like Canada where these things are made or maybe some of them saltwater cities, states. New England. New England. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install this real quick. Simple and fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on my right hand side because that's where I'm going to want to put it. So we're going to stick it right here. I actually already got my trunk out and my hood because I was doing something else earlier. So I mean, yeah, my, my front and my side panels are off because I was doing something earlier. But I'm going to remove the hood as well. You don't have to take off your front if you don't want to because you probably can run your wires down the side here, right underneath your panels and send them in through here. But uh, I'm going to run them right through there. You actually want to be careful where you run them because you don't want to have them too close to any hot parts inside if you run them on the side. You don't want to, uh, you want to have zip ties so you can zip tie them to stuff if you need to zip tie it somewhere. Try to keep it away from all the hot stuff. All right, guys? So, it actually, the only tools you really need to install this is an Allen key and it comes with it. So, we got an Allen key, we got two screws. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to screw. All right, we're going to put our handle on just so we know where our wire is. All right, guys. Is. For me, the position I like to put this thing, this uh, switch, I'm, I, I think it looks the best right here, right underneath your wires that's coming out of your uh, throttle body. Um, it looks right right there. Like between the wires and the bars, there's a little space. It goes right there. It sits pretty. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to throw the screws in here. You can put it anywhere on your bars you like. Obviously, I have my uh, quad lock on the other side, so we don't want to congest it up all on one side of the bars. You know what I'm saying? When I'm taking when I'm taking turns at a uh, 120, we don't want to have a lot of weight on one side of the bike. <laughs> if this thing did 120. <laughs> <laughs> all right so take a look at that guys what you guys think right there look at that Woo! yeah 
Yes, sir. All right, so what you want to do is you have these wires that already run down. You're going to want to run this to the same with those wires. So obviously those wires have enough to turn. You're going to have space so you can turn and stuff. You don't want to have this tight and going straight in there. So you can run this down here. You're going to want to zip tie it to this. I don't have no zip ties right now, so I'm just going to run it where it needs to be. And tomorrow I'm going to run the auto zone, grab some zip ties, and just zip tie it up. All right, so we're going to zip tie it to these wires over here on the side uh, that's coming from the throttle body. It comes down here through the top of where your trunk usually is. We're going to connect the female side to the gluteus maximus. Uh, oh, There's like a little uh, slot and like a little tab so you can get it the right way. Get the positive and negatives on the right side. All right, until you get that slid up, we're gonna tighten this down here. Screw to screw. All right, so now I have this ran here. We have the top of it ran and connected. So the reason I done that first is because I wanna know how much wire I got to play with. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna run it the wrong way and then you don't reach and then yeah, the, the left side of the bike down here uh, i'm going to run this front wire over to the battery plug the positive and negative we're going to run it around the back though so let's get that down there you're going to want to zip tie it to whatever you can pin down here right underneath that bar there we're going to get it under here and like you're gonna have extra wire. If you got some extra wire, you're gonna have to zip tie it up, tuck it up, you know, make it look good. Um, positive and negative. I ran it down this side of the bike. I'm gonna hook it to the positive and negative. I'm gonna take my, I uh, got these here. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your, I'm gonna use, if I'm connecting it to the grill, which I'm gonna be connecting it to, I have my negative and my positive from my grill. I'm going to cut them from this wire and then I'm going to splice them to this plug here, which I can plug it to here. So mm -hmm. okay. I'm cutting my positive and negative wires that can't and switch and fuse off that came with my, uh, that came with my uh, top notch Riker grill. So we're going to move those right now. I'm going to cut this here because this one's straight all the way up. This one has a splitter. Um, cut it there too. Right. Cut it here. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this here and I'm going to electrical tape that up. It's on the ground, it's out of power, so I'm not super. I'm gonna electrical tape that around there because I was a double. If I wanted to make get rid of that, I would have cut it down here, but I can't get my uh, crimps down there to do it, so I would have to take my front end off. So that's for another day for me when I get more time. When I get my zip ties and I can zip tie all this stuff down, I'll take this front off and I'll do it all. All right, guys, so what I did was, you guys have seen, cut the wires here. That was coming from my uh, top-notch Riker Mods uh, radiator protector. So I cut that there. Now I'm just going to tape up that little piece that I had there. So we don't want that hitting nothing. I got some crimps here. I'm using the red ones. Got my little trusty, dusty crimper. Cut this down a little bit. Okay. Clump that here. Oops, almost cut it. Right. Always crimp it. Always give it a nice little pull to make sure it's on your gun. Throw my other one on my red side. So now, now that I got those hooked up, we're going to hook these, the parts from the grill, 
to the extension wire to my switch. I'm gonna crimp these back a little bit more. They're already showing exposed, but I like to give it a little bit more just to make sure we get a good connection on there. And now that I got that connected, what I'm usually gonna do is I'm gonna take some black electrical tape. I'm gonna wrap it around here to make sure that's nice and snug together. Uh, take your female side and you put it with your male side. You screw your screw tight. There. Right, tighten up that screw there. Got that nice seal on there, you can feel it. As you're screwing that tight, you can feel the tension from the little seal. All right, we got a black wire, we got a red wire. So obviously our red goes with our red, our black goes with our black. We're gonna put our black on first like we did last time. So these are circles, so you gotta take your screw all the way out. Just gonna put it underneath that one there. Swing it around the side right there, so she looks pretty. Tighten that up. All right, like I did last time, I took my fuse out. What we got in here? Fifteen. All right, before we put our fuse in, we're gonna make sure our switch is on off. All right, so up is off, down is on. All right, we got that off. Now, we're gonna throw a fuse in here. Uh, put our boot on there, a little cover. It's nice and tight. All right, guys, so now we got our thing all wired up. We got our fuse in there. So now we're gonna hit the switch and uh, See what happens. There you go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Quick switch. Boom. Boom. On. Off. Off. On. Off. We good. Yep. Beautiful. It's on now. All right, guys. So, see that we got this nice product here. This is actually a good product. I would say it's a must-have if you're gonna have accessories. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have accessories, not a must-have for you, but. If you're gonna have accessories that you need to turn on and off with a good switch, having a switch nice and accessible right to your bars, you don't have to drill holes in your panels or nothing to put the switch on there. Uh, watertight connections, you know what I'm saying? Multiple connections. If you probably can uh, splice in more than one thing to this one side if you needed to. So, what I would say, I would say and, get and, it. And there's another plug for another accessory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it comes with two sides. So. Over here, over here on uh, the floor. Uh, and I actually, uh, it actually comes with another connection for the other side, so I can put something else in here. So if I wanted to, I could put two things on this side, two things on that side, uh, one and one, none and one. You know what I'm gonna do is so. Uh, one way this is gonna be good for me is that my my uh, LEDs, not these, my LED lights, they come on when my bike comes on. They're always on because I have to use a remote control to turn them off, and that's in my trunk, and I don't want to dig for it. So I leave them on white. I just leave them on all the time. But now, I can hook them up to this, and now I can just turn them all on with a switch. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know what I would say? Hit up my man Brandon King on Facebook, and get, get yourself this uh, accessory wire harness. That's what I would call it. Accessory wire harness. And toggle switch. With toggle switch. With handlebar toggle switch at yeah. that. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So, got another one coming for you real soon. On to the next one.